Hello world, what is up? Welcome to Build at Home. I'm your host, Matt Forte, and I'm coming to you from my home, as is our next guest, I assume. Uh, I'm very excited to talk to her. We're going to get started in just a second. But first, before we do a little bit of business, this is actually uh, super important. Uh, kids in need have missed more than 202 million meals at school due to closures with Corona and all. Uh, and with NoKidHungry.org, we're helping schools and community groups find new ways to feed these kids, which is great. But we need your support. So check out NoKidHungry.org to see how you can help out. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, let's get started. Our next guest joining me now is an incredibly talented, awesome young person who you most likely first encountered as the season 11 winner of America's Got Talent. Uh, she's since released an outstanding EP, headlined her own tours, played with Imagine Dragons and Florence and the Machine, all kinds of stuff. And now you can catch her starring as Stargirl in the new Disney Plus original film, Stargirl. Wherever you are, make some noise and celebrate the fact that I'm hanging out with Grace Vanderwall. Grace, welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing uh, okay, uh, considering okay. Uh, how crazy the world is right now. I'm doing all right. How are you holding up? How is quarantine going? How is life at home? Um, you know, it's harder than I expected. I'm a, I'm a home. I already do like online school. I don't really leave the house, so I was like, this is gonna be a piece of cake. But it's, right. it's definitely, it's really not. It's definitely starting to get old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's getting old fast, I think, for a lot of people, uh, which is totally normal, totally part of the process. I was reading that, that you are that you were already someone who took part in homeschooling. But that wasn't always the case. Did that start around uh, like when AGT picked up or were you always homeschooled? Oof, when did this start? Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> All part. A couple of years couple of couple months of years because i've been doing it like on and off because I, yeah. do, I suck at online school i'm so bad at online school it is oh man so hard it's so hard well i was gonna ask, i brought it up because i was gonna ask like if you've already gone through that transition of like regular school like in person to like doing online school like if you had any yeah. advice for all of the kids that are trying to figure that out right now Dude, i'm the last person you should go to for advice i swear to god i'm the last person so that's why i kept like going on and off because i'd be like screw this like i'm gonna go to real school now and i went to real <laughs> school but then i'm like ah, i have to work i bet i can do it online school i'm older now i'm more mature i can do it and it's just a constant cycle <laughs> i feel like that is something uh as humans we tell ourselves our entire life whatever it is. i'm older now i'm more mature <laughs> yes! whatever this thing is I that's can do it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's just something we tell ourselves to keep going yeah. forward. Uh, what are you, what are you doing to pass the time? Are you uh, writing music? I've seen a lot of musicians uh, doing, you know, home concerts and stuff like that. Impromptu yeah. concerts. Have you thought about doing something like that when you get really bored? What are you, what are you doing right now to yeah. while away the hours? I was just on a, the phone. Uh, oh my gosh. I haven't talked to people in so long. I was just on the phone. <laughs> I was just, just on, on the a telephone. phone call <laughs> with um, my team about, a concert but i've definitely been writing music which is have you? totally have you? unlike me totally unlike me i really? usually hate like i always push that aside i never want to do it so that's crazy and yeah i've just been literally doing nothing like nothing so you would say of the <laughs> literally nothing i'm so sorry I, I i feel terrible having interrupted that with this interview <laughs> at this point um, but that's interesting. So you, you, like in general, you're saying quarantine aside, when it comes to writing music, that's like your kind of your least favorite part of the process or. Well, no, no, no. I don't want, I don't want that to be like taken out. I definitely, I mean, if this is the thing, it's like, I never want to do it. And then once it starts happening, I'm like, God, oh, this is amazing. Like, this is my passion. Yeah. It's flowing out. And then the song is finished. We might like do a couple more songs. This is usually in studio sessions, but then when I'm, alone, I'm like, Oh, like, I don't want to do this, you know, but <laughs> is it I mean, because, no um, is it because like, not, it's hard to do or because, uh, like a nervousness of like, what if I write something that sucks? Like, what do you think it is? Like, what is that wall that like kind of stands I mean, between it, you it and writing? It takes a lot of work. It usually, yeah. it, you have to carve out at least a couple hours. Cause I mean, you can't just write. It's, it's a frustrating, it's a fresh, it's a beautiful, but frustrating process. So once you finish it, it's like the most amazing feeling. Yeah. But during it's, you know, very, very frustrating because you're trying to express feelings through words and sounds, which is very hard to do. I yeah, feel like. For sure. Um, what you know, you talk about how you're writing right now. Uh, I know this year, I believe, like the plan was for uh, the second part, like EP part two. Yeah. 
Um, has that been affected by everything? Are you guys reevaluating that schedule? Is that done? Is this going to be part of it? Uh, let me ask you 10 more questions before I let you answer. Uh, oh. is it, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> What's going on with EP part two? Oh, um, yeah. Top secret. It's, it's definitely affected. Um, mm. everything. Uh, I mean, same for everyone else, no matter who you are. Yeah. Uh, it's affected 100%. A bunch of things. So, yeah, of course it's affected things. Um, it's definitely not finished yet. Uh, okay, still working on so, it. So, I, yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. I we'll mean, see. We're Stay tuned. Of, we're basically seeing what the world is okay yeah. with us doing. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we all are. That's, that's what we're yeah, doing here. Yeah, we all are. It's it. Everybody's feeling it out. Uh, I saw, I think it was in Mary Claire, I was reading that you uh, shared a recent obsession with Aladdin. Uh, <laughs> is that... Is that the, the, I assume the new one, or is that the 92 animated the one? one? The new, the new one. one. The Inexplicably, new one. you've just been watching Aladdin nonstop. Has that Dude. slowed down? Is that ramped up? Are you watching has, more Aladdin? Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> but the quarantine has definitely not helped my addiction. To Aladdin, or yeah. the live action Aladdin. I don't know what it is. It's just so not my type of movie. Like, it's so not the movie I'd be obsessed with. But, like, like just the other night, I was, like, in a bad mood or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just, like, you know, teen angst, a little grumpy. And right. I went downstairs, and my mom, you know, some moms are like, do you want ice cream or do you want to talk? My mom's just like, do you want me to play Aladdin? You watch Aladdin? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah. You want to watch yeah. a Blue Will Smith walk like, around and say, woo, woo let's do it. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So that's your go-to right now. That's what you're doing to get yeah. through. Uh, you're either doing absolutely nothing or watching Aladdin. Yeah. Uh, seems much. to be the plan. Uh, all both. right. Well, Bye. we're both. We're both. Well, yeah. I, honestly, the important thing is uh, that you're safe and you're healthy and you're doing really well. Uh, and uh, I, I sincerely appreciate you uh, taking time to, to do this with us. We're not done. I want to talk about Stargirl, uh, but it's just important that I acknowledge Taking time out of your schedule. Right back at you, man. Right back so, at thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, let's talk about the movie. A lot of people, that is their Aladdin right now. They're watching that movie nonstop. They're watching Star <laughs> Girl. They're loving it. Um, you know, you were introduced to the world via AGT. Fans know you as this amazingly talented musician. Did you always kind of hope to turn that into uh, an acting career? Or did you always want to try acting? How did this all come about? No. It, I mean, I, I, I'm not a, a big planner for uh, you know the far future especially with the path that I've chosen I feel like it's a very unpredictable career and I, I just don't see the point in driving myself crazy trying to yeah. plan things um so I never I mean it, it just kind of fell in my lap it, it just kind of happened and um I just I don't know I've never done a movie I've always been curious oh, right yeah. I mean, who who gets to make a who gets to be in a movie? You know, yeah, it's, a, it's exactly. a cool experience to <laughs> yeah. you know get to learn about and you know be in. So it was yeah. it was cool. With this being like such a beloved book and, and a beloved character, uh, and this is your first gig, were you nervous at all coming into it? Uh, nervous about the process, about being in a movie? How did you feel getting getting involved? I I don't think I was really thinking it through i wasn't yeah. very nervous until the first day that i was like actually on camera and then i was like "Ooh, <laughs> this is real this is real this is happening what was I it what happened i well i mean i i don't actually have a ton of lines in the movie because it's right. from leo's perspective um but i it was like my first day God, what was i doing it was a cut scene it never even made it in the movie but it was like i was i was walking and then like Leo pulled up in his car and he like asked me something. I don't even remember. This was the very first day, two years wow. ago. And I remember just being like, wow, I suck at acting. Like I suck at acting. And now I've committed myself in a Disney movie. No. Like, what am I going to do? And I like started freaking out. And I remember I talked to Julia Hart, the director. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm kind of freaking out. Like, I'm really sorry. Cause like, this is your movie. And like, I don't know if I can do the best I can in this, but she was, yo, Julia Hart <laughs> Tell me about Julie. the sweetest, sweetest angel baby. Like, she is just an angel baby. Mm. And she not only is the reason why I decided to do the film, but she got me through so much during the filming. And, yeah, so she was just, like, giving me a little motivational pep talk. And I was just is like... That 
I'm curious, like, as you talk about, like, all right, so Julie was there and she got you through, like, those tough moments. Like, you're someone who, you know, like, you look at America's Got Talent and, like, the high stakes there. You look at these tours that you've headlined and you look at the artists you've opened for. You're someone who's been in high pressure, high stakes, like, super nerve wracking scenarios that you've not only got through, but you thrive. Like, you, like you're like you amazing in those moments. Thank you. What is the secret? Is it finding someone uh, like Julie? Like, how do you do it when you when you get that uh, that rush of like, oh my god, what am I doing? I don't belong here. How do I figure this out? Like, how do you get through that? Like, how you do know, you do that? Okay, so I said I'm not someone who really plans, right? Right. So I never really think through decisions when I commit to something. I'm very much mm -hmm. someone who gets nervous when it's actually happening and it, it like the reality dawns on me. So I always just figure, I always happen to fall into those situations. I, mm -hmm. I happen to fall into that type of situation with America's Got Talent, with touring, with being an influencer, with, I don't know, with the movie. And I feel like it's just like, okay, I always just think to myself like, there's nothing I can do. Like I'm committed. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. <laughs> like, right. There's pretty much nothing I can do. except The only way out is through. Like, I've got exactly. To do it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's pretty much what happens every time. <laughs> uh, well, you, you wear it well, you would never know from the outside. Uh, obviously you've shot music videos. You've performed on camera before. What, what was the biggest difference do you think in that moment when you were on camera for this movie that like it, it hit you like, Oh man, I'm doing this thing now. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. So like you've I'm done, no, it's all good. You've done, um, you've done like stuff in front of the camera before you've done music videos and you know, you're on TV shows. What do you think the biggest difference was when you got in front of the camera for star girl that you were like, Oh, this is real. Ooh, there's a big difference. Yeah. I can't really explain the difference. I mean, it's just, you're not yourself. You're acting, you know, it's a, it's a different, it's a different art. So mm -hmm. You know, it's it's nerve wracking to you know paint in front of someone, if you yeah. will. That's a if that's if that's a good metaphor. No, totally. That makes a lot of sense. Anybody creative, uh, you know, it's hard to do that thing in front of an audience. Period. Yeah. Whatever that thing may be. Um, you know, speaking about like the different art, you wrote a song for the film. Uh, yeah. Which I know you weren't like necessarily asked to do or like contractually obligated. You just wrote a song and you sent it to Julie, and you were like, uh, "This is good. I, I, what do you do? Whatever you want with it." <laughs> Um, yeah. You know, you could use it, you could not use it. And it became a part of the whole process. You know, when did you know that the song you were writing was a good fit? And it wasn't like a Grace Vanderwall song. It was like a Stargirl song. Pretty much in the middle of singing it out. Because like my my yeah. writing process is like, I'll just, it's kind of like a freestyle rap. Like mm -hmm. you just kind of find chords and then just start singing and like record it. And then like after singing for like 15 minutes, like a 15 minute long song, just take the best parts and like I don't know polish it or whatever so like halfway through singing through my freestyle rap I was just like this is definitely for Stargirl it's crazy yeah it yeah. felt right yeah and then they were like yeah. yeah sure we'll use it and you were like cool yeah yeah this is why yeah. I don't plan I things because it just seems to work out. yeah <laughs> everything always works out it's actually a really good mentality to kind of maintain. Like, have you had to remind yourself of that as things have gotten crazier and crazier? Dude, of like, I tell myself that like every single day with yeah. everything that I'm doing. Everything always happens to work out as long as yeah. you like keep a fairly positive mentality and just like believe in the universe, like believe in whatever has in store for you. It's just like, all right, this is out of my hands. There's nothing I can do. Let's just, I mean, I'm sure it'll work out. Life, yeah. life goes on. So hundred percent. I, um, I don't want to, I, I hope, so I'm going to ask this question and it's okay if the answer is that hasn't happened yet, but like, have you had to, and like, have you encountered a scenario where things didn't work out and you had to kind of figure that out and move forward and process that or so far, knock on wood, things have worked out. I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> of course. We're I human. Mean, it's yeah, part of the experience. We're human. Um, yeah. Yeah, my life isn't, you know, sunshine and I don't just like walk off a cliff. I'm like, yeah, c'est la vie. <laughs> It'll work out. You I know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, things, I mean, things definitely happen, but like they never really affect me still. Cause I mean, yeah. I still, you can still maintain that mentality through everything, I guess. And it's not really something I tried. It's just kind of, I guess, like, I guess 
I guess I would say like that's my personality too. If I were to like explain my personality, I, yeah. I feel like this sounds self-absorbed right now. But oh, and, <laughs> this is I, I asked like, you a question about how you handle things that you can't yeah. answer it in a way that won't sound self-absorbed. It's totally fine. It's on me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that it's something that I pretty much maintain through the ups and the lows. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you have to. Um, we're going to wrap things up in just a little bit. I'm going to let you go so get back to um, doing everything that you're doing over there, uh, writing music and hanging out. But last question, uh, we talked earlier about how like you don't really plan things and you never really thought like, oh, I'm going to go be an actor and do this. But now you've done it. You have that experience. You know, how has your perspective on acting and all of that changed? Are you excited to do more? Are you just going to take it as it comes? What are you thinking after having done it? I'm extremely excited to do more. I don't I don't want to uh, pursue being an actress mm -hmm. as a career because I, I do love music. But, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm very much someone that like if I learn something, I'm ready to apply what I've learned again and see if see how good I can be. So I don't really like leaving things on like. Because I learned so much in that movie. Yeah. And I feel like I learned so much about acting that I'm really curious just to apply what I've learned at least one more time, you know, yeah. and just and just see. And just, see. just see. Yeah, exactly. No plans. Just see. <laughs> no plans, man. Just see. I love it. Uh, Grace, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much again. Uh, I want to remind everybody watching at home that you can, if you haven't already, uh, Star Girls on Disney Plus, you can watch it right now, as is Aladdin. So if you want to have a fun little uh, Grace Vanderwall afternoon and just kind of live in her Whoa. world, uh, just watch Aladdin a million times and watch uh, Stargirl <laughs> yes. uh, 10 million times, I guess. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> tracks out. Uh, so that's happening. I also want to remind everybody, uh, nokidhungry.org. Uh, we're all sitting at home. Uh, if you can, go to that site. Give a little. Be a part of the solution. Uh, keep an eye out for the other half of that EP. What else, Grace? What do you want to tell everybody before we get out of here? Uh, that's all. Yeah. That's it. That's everything. <laughs> uh, Grace, thank you so much again for hanging out. Uh, stay thank safe uh, and uh, have a, a good one over there. And next time when this all blows over, come to New York and, and play that second half of the EP for us in the studio. You got to come hang out. All right? Definitely. I will. You too. Hang in there. Thank you so much, Grace. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Right. Thank awesome. you, Julio. Grace, you're the best. Julio, also the best. Uh, thank you so much for that. All right. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you, talk to you, whatever. Likewise, likewise. All right. Hang in there.